Well, welcome. I'm here in Zurich at a very fancy hotel and we are here with Megan for an interview. We just met Megan five minutes ago and she was willing to give us an interview about how Americans like the country of Switzerland. So let's start the interview and the investigation. So Megan, <laughs> how long have you been to Switzerland? So this makes about two years now that we've been living in Switzerland. And you live in Zurich or? Yes, uh, right now we live in the Zurich area and uh, we just recently moved here. Prior to that we lived in Schaffhausen. Oh, so you already know two Swiss accents. Yes. Which you already not understand two Swiss accents, that's correct. <laughs> Do you know anything in Swiss though? I know several small words in Swiss, yes, in Swiss German. Will we have the pleasure to hear those words? Sure, they're the words that you hear when you uh, do the shopping, when people say, Hätten Sie gern ein Sackli? I know that I should say, yes, gern ein Sackli, bitte. Um, I know French, and I know that Swiss German, at least from Schaffhausen, has a lot of French words, like for uh, bicycle, you say velo, and for chicken, you say pule, which is not the same word as I learned in my German class for those words. Interesting. Um, and what are the things you had to struggle with when you came to Switzerland? Well, of course, the language is um, a big obstacle for anyone who doesn't already speak German. And then um, there are a lot of rules in Switzerland that affect how you interact with your neighbors and with each other that we don't necessarily really have in the U.S. So um, a lot of rules about when you need to be quiet, when you can't do yard work, when you can't do your laundry, those sorts of things. Um, we don't really have those kinds of rules. So that was new for me. So with rules you mean, for example, um, don't mow your yard on Sundays. Right. That sort of thing. Or okay. Yeah, don't do your recycling at a certain hour because that noise is disruptive to your neighbors. So we wouldn't have those so much. So that was very new for me. And what would you think um, would this be for a Swiss person going to the US? What kind of things would they find there um, that would be different than here? Well, um, Another thing that was new for me here is that so many of the shops are closed on Sunday. And in the U.S., really, any time at all you decide that you need to go buy milk, something is open. You can go do that 24 hours a day, every day. Um, so they would probably find that very different. Also, in the U.S., in many, many cities, it's very difficult if you don't have a car. And we really enjoy the public transportation system in Switzerland and how easy it is to get around without a car. And if you go to the U.S., it's many cities, it's very difficult if you don't have your own private transportation. Yeah. And are there any products that you miss, like specific products, for example, Reese's Cups? I love Reese's Cups <laughs> and I miss them here. I really do. <laughs> Well, um, I can't say that there's really anything because even though I do enjoy a Reese's cup, um, there's plenty of really, really nice chocolate in Switzerland and um, I can find pretty much everything I need. Yeah, I can find everything I need here. That's great. And um, I know it's a boring question, but what do you love most about Switzerland? Oh. What do I love most about Switzerland? There are a lot of really, really great things about Switzerland. We really like, um, I know it's a boring answer, but we really like how well run everything seems to be, how efficiently things run. It's um, rare if, you're, if your tram or your train is late, everything runs on time. Um, everything seems so very clean and, and uh, easy to use to us. And um, yeah, I would say those are the things that we really like the most. And anything you don't like? 
Well, I'm American, so I like to buy milk 24 hours a day. <laughs> But <laughs> other than that, um, you know, you have to plan. You have to do your shopping on a Saturday for Monday. But um, I think that, no, I think that would be about it. Just a very small thing. <laughs> And um, you came here because of work. That's correct. My husband's work. Okay. And are you planning to go back to the U.S. anytime soon? Maybe for a visit or do you want to go back there to live? Well, we, we usually go back once a year for a visit to see family and friends. And then eventually we will go back you know, to live on a permanent basis. But in the meantime, we're enjoying our time here. Awesome. Well, then, Megan, thank you very, very much for your time. Thank you. And I hope you keep enjoying your time here, um, even with no milk on Sundays. But <laughs> thank we'll you. Do. We'll make do. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Yeah.